This video, this video kicked my butt for a lot of reasons. Um, I, I guess the first thing that uh, that I should talk about was just uh, what was was Crab Week in general. Uh, originally, I was gonna do a whole month, um, and and this was gonna be like my my theme month of the year. Uh, was uh, was gonna be Crab Month, and I realized that I, I didn't really have enough material to uh, to fill out a month. I, I thought I was going to have enough material, but the problem was uh, that, that that movie that I reviewed, um, that, that I talked about, um, Attack of the Crab Monsters, I was originally going to do a full, like, Mystery Science Theater style riff on that, on that movie, but um, the problem with that was that it, it, it turned out to not be very good riffing material really um it it just it, it didn't lend itself very well to riffing i mean it was that sort of you know bad sci-fi slash horror movie that a lot of those mystery science theater style riffs were done on but the the, the problem was was that I, there there are huge enormous stretches of time in that movie where just nothing nothing at all happens and I just I couldn't I could come up with jokes for it but I couldn't come up with enough material to make an entire video uh, to, to make an entire riff I should say so I eventually ended up just doing a review of that and I, I wrote and shot and edited that review all in one day uh, when I was up visiting my girlfriend uh, where she goes to college um, which is where I was editing most of this video and because um, because I just I had to get something done so I eventually I eventually just decided to kind of squeeze it all into one week and I did just you know the one and done review and I think it came out better because of that you know like if I had tried to sort of force a riff uh, I think it would have ended up not being very good at all and so I'm very glad I didn't do that but the problem was is that I ended up not having a theme month because of that but a theme week is pretty good um, I like to be able to have god I hate that picture I, I like to be able to have a theme month um, at some point during the year but I think a, a theme week especially you know one that was kind of you know like this was just you know it, it's it's enough I, I think it's enough um, I'm going to do another superhero month at some point. Maybe next year. I don't know for sure yet. But, uh, anyway, uh, on to this uh, video. One of the reasons that this video was so hard to do is because my, my fear of crustaceans is entirely legitimate. They terrify me. They just, they, they freak me out. And it's, I, I know why they do. It's because of a, a childhood... Ugh hate these pictures so much it's because of a childhood experience i had where my mom said uh, one day god those eyes my mom said we're going to red lobster for dinner and i had never been to a red lobster i had never seen a crab or a lobster of any kind before in my life no crustaceans whatsoever so i didn't know what it was so just like oh okay you know we're going to a restaurant whatever so i said okay mom we're going to red lobster and then I, I got in there and there's the first thing I saw was that giant tank of lobsters and you know it was huge and like looming over my small child body and it was like underlid and these things that basically look like alien monsters to an untrained eye were crawling around all on top of each other and I just I immediately buried my face in my mother's thigh and said mommy I don't like red lobster and I just uh, I can't remember if we stayed and I just, you know, refused to look away f f and I refused to unbury myself from my mother the entire time or whether we just left because it scared me so much when I was a child. But that's, I, I know that that's where my phobia comes from. But it is a very legitimate phobia. So collecting, creating the, the first half of this video was really, really tough because I was basically exacerbating my own phobia to an immense degree. Because I had to, not only did I have to have to research, like, the five most terrifying crabs that I could find, um, which was a nightmare on its own, I had to find pictures. Uh, 
I just I had to find all these pictures of these really terrifying looking crabs and crustaceans and you know like shrimp whatever but they're just finding these pictures was horrible I just it, it was it was just awful trying to find all these pictures and I, I hated doing that part and then I had to assemble all these pictures in the video and it got it was very legitimately hard because like my phobia is so bad it's to the point that I uh, that's probably the worst one right there the most terrifying picture that I found was right there but I mean my, my phobia is such that I have a hard time like getting through a biology book because there's almost always a picture of a crab or a crustacean somewhere in a freaking biology book and every time I turn a page I'm always dreading that the next page is going to be the one with the picture of the crab on it. And like, my phobia is so bad to the point that it's it's really hard for me to even look at a picture of a crab, let alone these incredibly detailed and, you know, high resolution pictures of these just creepy little things. And I just, so that, that was something that it was was very difficult for me to do uh, was assemble all these pictures and do all this research on these really terrifying kinds of crustaceans but I, you know I got through it and I think it ended up being a, a, a fun a pretty funny video in its own right but then the uh, the problem that I had with the second half of the video was just the sheer amount of editing that I had to do on the, on the second half of this video where I fight the giant cartoon crab queen. Um, it, it, I, I did this, I did all of this entirely in iMovie. A couple of the special effects were done in an older edition of iMovie. Um, you know, like, like the lightning, for example, that was done in an older version of iMovie that I have uh, stored on my computer just in case I ever need to d use a really cheesy special effect, which I did, uh, which was, you know, the, the lightning coming out of the, coming out of the, uh, the, the little meat cleaver. And so it was, it was really hard. You know, I, I'm, I'm really good with iMovie. I'll say that I like, I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but I am quite good with iMovie. I know iMovie inside now backwards and forwards. I am an iMovie expert. Like you would be hard pressed to find someone even in an Apple store that knows more about iMovie than I do. I'm very very good with iMovie and I so I it's just a skill that I possess. And so making uh I I can do very basic cheesy sort of dumb looking animations like this in iMovie. I've, I've figured out ways to use um, images with transparencies to kind of uh, cheat at iMovie. You know, like I, uh, I can do much, much more in iMovie than the average person. I found out, I figured out a lot of different ways to make the program do stuff that iMovie was never intended to do. Like, you know, I can make this cheesy little fight scene. I can make the, the laser blast travel across the screen. But I had to do it, you know, I had to do a lot of different things with this. You know, I and iMovie has been crapping out on me recently in a lot of ways. This, this little bit. I don't know how many people got the joke with this disembodied French voice. But basically, it's, it's supposed to be the chef from... The Little Mermaid, who was psychotically obsessed with killing Sebastian, um, who is my favorite character in that movie by far. He is just funny as hell. Um, so that was he was supposed to be the one giving me like the 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 weapon of the weapon of legend, the meat cleaver. And so then there was this whole the this whole thing. Yeah, I I, I made this you know little one off joke. Uh, when I ate the pot stickers, just because of how much I love pot stickers, that it gave me an extra life, and um, I, I I did that so that I could come back to life in this video. I had that planned out, you know, very far in advance. And 
the, you'll see in just a moment the, the language written on that blade is um, Galactic Basic Standard, which is like the standard written language in the Star Wars universe, and it says Crab's Bane um, on, the, on the blade of that... Uh, of that little uh, of that little cleaver prop that I made. So, um, anyway, gosh, what was I saying? So it, it was iMovie was really crapping out on me for this one just because I do get I I do make the program do things it was never intended to do, but the consequence of that is that uh, it uh, it doesn't like to cooperate with that. It wants to stay within its parameters, and I force it not to. Um, this was the first actual use of the meme ray as something other than a laser blaster. And originally I was going to do the, uh, the, the shoop de whoop meme for this, but I figured that would have been too complicated. And I think this one has better comedic timing. That little WTF, the, the WTF boom meme. It's one of my favorite memes ever. I love it. So yeah, but, uh, like I said, I edited this, this whole thing was done entirely an iMovie, um, which I think is uh, fairly impressive, uh, honestly. I, I think that I'm very good at making iMovie do things that iMovie was never intended to do, and I'm very proud of that. And I liked I liked this video. It's just, you know, it was I liked just doing it all kind of fun, little silly thing. And of course I gave myself a robot hand, which will have some relevance later, eventually. I have plans for that, but uh, you'll, you'll find out a little bit more about that later. Uh, in upcoming videos that I will be releasing periodically over the next year. Um, I, would, I have this whole big overarching storyline where this, this interdimensional anomaly is, uh, is menacing me for some reason and uh, it's foiling Entropy's attempts to try and uh, figure out what's truly going on. Um, <laughs> I, lo I, I love doing arguments between me and Entropy. They're just so much fun to make. Um, but anyway, so I'm I'm building towards this whole big thing, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. But uh, right now we have uh, I, I've I've given myself the robot hand. I've given myself this fabled weapon of crab slaying legend called Crab's Bane, which I honestly don't know if I'll use much. It's just you know it's just kind of a fun thing. Um, but then this whole thing, you know, at the end of the credits where the, the little minion was actually the interdimensional anomaly and was uh, had set the crab on me as a way to try and kill me. But it uh, didn't end up working out, so he's got... Uh, but he's still got plenty of time. Um, if, if you're curious, that staff, I just that was just a handmade thing that I made a long time ago. It has no magical powers of any kind. It was just a little prop that I used for the scene. But yeah, this guy, you'll find out more about who he is soon. But uh, until then, I will see you all later.